This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Corvette. It is a 2003 Chevy Corvette. It is a 5.7 liter V8. It's the 50th anniversary edition. Um, has 25,154 actual miles, which I will prove to you when I show you the Carfax here in a second. Um, and it's obvious when you walk around it and drive it. That's the real deal. Um, normally I wouldn't buy something like this. Uh, I'm more of a truck guy, but this is a badass car. And uh, somebody may want it just to put it in their museum or drive it around once in a while, but it's really cool. Anyway, uh, we brought it here, we do an inspection. Obviously there's nothing going on here. It's uh, crazy low miles, runs, drives, looks great. Extremely rare, low mile vet. This car is history, that's what my guys wrote. Detail okay um before we get started around walking around this car i'm going to show you the carfax real quick uh get that out of the way so here's your carfax right there's the vin no accidents reported uh let's see guaranteed no major title problems let's see it was born in california and they drove it normally it looks like this first owner actually drove it um and he drove it all the way to 15,000 miles it looks like he traded in at 15,000 miles in 2006. Still low miles then, but he was driving it. Then the next owner uh, took it over. It's like somebody owned it there and they probably didn't drive it at all. And then this guy took it over 21, actually he drove it 6,000 miles, this guy did. And then this guy got it in, at 21,493 in 2008. And then uh, maybe drove it to emissions for uh, the next decade. Uh, somehow it ended up in Las Vegas. Someone bought it there and uh, it became a new, de new car dealer trade-in in Las Vegas. On 9-14-2020, Wheel Kinetics purchased it. Um, I'm really glad I did. Uh, Corvette, this is the Kelly Blue Book. Here's the uh, mileage, 25,154. I don't think this means anything, but people want to know what the Kelly is on it, so here it is. It says 22,916. On a freak show like this, who knows this thing could some corvette guy could see this thing and say it's worth 30 grand or someone will say it's worth 10 i don't know um i know what it kelly's for i know what i paid for it <laughs> it was a lot given that it's an 03 but uh it looks runs and drives like a new car um it does have the uh glass top you can see here that's got the glass top which is an ad 50th anniversary emblems on it there's really nothing. The only thing we could find that was wrong is it got too close to something. I mean, this is great color to fix. Um, white, obviously. If you wanted to have a painter just scuff that and shoot it, that would go away. And that would be the end of the problems <laughs> because that's all we could find on this car. It's got a nice set of tires on it, a really high tread. It doesn't need tires. Those are almost brand new. I mean, they feel like they're probably were just put on the car. Fiftieth anniversary emblem. Look at that. That's just brand new tires. Those are brand new tires. Goodyear it says G L E F one tires. All right. You got a little Corvette. Keychain locked, unlocked. All right, I'm gonna fire this guy up. I'm just gonna lean in here because I'm old and I don't want to sit down until I'm ready to drive it. There you go. Okay. open the hood and I'm gonna open the rear start with the rear here there's your 50th anniversary carpet deal back here I mean obviously looks like brand new man I mean there's nothing here <laughs> to look at other than it looks like new uh, let's go into the hood this is all factory stuff too I found out with the 50th anniversary package this is suede. This 
liner is suede. I mean, I told my detail shop, if you touch that with water, I will kill you. I will never pay you again. So they wrapped it in plastic before they did it. Um, but all this stuff apparently, I think, is factory. It looks like factory. It's got the, the flags on it, the Corvette flags on it. And then we have like the matching rails here, right? In chrome. Obviously, it's got an aftermarket air cleaner on it. So maybe this intake is uh, aftermarket. It sure is cool. Well, there you go. It's got these wheels here, right? Let's see, window up and down. Let's see, door locks. Got a power seat, forward, back, up, down. Behind the seat, by the way, is a, this is a Corvette dash mat. Doesn't need one. Uh, there's nothing to hide, but it's a good idea if you're gonna be a owner of this thing in the desert uh, to keep it from cracking. Um, the dash looks fantastic. So there's nothing hidden there, but I think that the people who lived in the desert in California and Nevada when they owned this car, they knew that. Smart. I have no idea what this car is worth, but I think we're about to find out. And it could be more than I paid for it, and it could be less. The market will speak, but it, I just had to have it, I don't know. My brother gave me a cross-eyed look until he saw it. I do all the buying. He saw it, that I bought it. He thought I was crazy. And then he saw it in person. There's your tilt wheel. And he's like, huh, okay. 17 year old car. Paid a fortune for that car. Frankly, close to retail book, just so you know. Um, but, we don't uh, we don't store cars forever if uh, if it's not worth what we paid for it then we'll sell it for whatever it's worth whatever the market says 25,159 miles so there's your top right the glass top radio or more perm that might your home depot per a hot step up Scan down. You could adjust the uh, tone and all that crap there. There's your AC up and down mode. Go through the whole thing. It's definitely flipping around. It's working fine. Uh, let's see. You got sport. You got a sport mode here. You can put it in. You got a tour mode. Oh, there's a gas door button right there. Um, what else? Let's see what we got here. Is that old school ashtray or something? Looks like a cup holder. Well, that's a shallow cup holder. Change or something. Something looks like something went there. Like maybe some sort of a Corvette cup that clipped in or something. I don't know. There's the stats. 350 cubic inch, 350 horsepower, 350 foot. Uh, pounds of torque, 10.1 com 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 competition ratio, I guess that's what that is. Um, 5.7 liter tune port injection, LS1. Let's see, what else we got? Cruise control. Got uh, windshield wipers, right? Um, headlights. There's the headlights popped up and down, right? All right, let's uh, go for a ride. If you come to Tucson to drive this bad boy home, it's pretty cool. It'd be a cool thing to roll down I-10, blazing. Um, you will pay the following. Of course, we're doing it on CR Road. This is what uh, we pay a combined between city and state here in Tucson, 8.7% taxes. This is what we get. We get basically four-wheel drive, Bolivian quality roads. So I'm gonna go really slow because I don't want to hurt my car until I get to the nice
nice pavement when I turn right up here. Uh, this car is not going to get abused. In fact, when we're done with this video and photos, it's going to Tucson Country Club to my home inside. Because this doesn't belong out with the diesel trucks at all. Anyway, um, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, you'll pay the following. You will pay your state tax, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Um, if you uh, uh, decide that you are going to pay for this vehicle and wire us from out of state and have it shipped out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Um, it's just what it is, okay? Um, if you need help with shipping, please let us know at the time of purchase. I can help you with shipping. Um, I know what I paid from Las Vegas. I paid $550 from Las Vegas for this car. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea. Probably the same for LA, New Mexico, nearby states, and then they'll go a little bit up from there. Texas is usually a little bit cheaper. Um, when you go northwest, it gets more expensive. When you go to northern Nevada, it gets really expensive. Uh, but if you need help, let us know at the beginning. We can either do it for you, we can roll it into your loan if you need a loan, um, or you can do it yourself. It's up to you. Um, and yes, this car drives like it's got 25,000 miles. Um, even though these ride roads are horrible and they're not known for their smooth ride, this car is feeling really good on terrible roads. And uh, I love it. In fact, I usually turn right at this light, but I want to keep on some nice pavement instead of going back to four-wheel drive pavement. Um, anyway, uh, deposits $500. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Um, then it'll be yours and no one else can buy it. Until then, it will stay for sale. Uh, at the end of every video, I say the same thing every single time. We don't have a uh, salesman. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge um, serving a lot with an attendant serving lattes and scones. Uh, we don't have any of that crap. They have that at the auto mall, which is kind of where we might drive by right now. Um, and there, they charge you for all that stuff when you buy a car from them. They also charge you for future repairs. They know that if you bought, you bought this car from them and something broke, you bring it back in and say, fix my car. So they charge you five or $600 more on a transaction just for future repairs. So with you know, location, being you know next to the mall, uh, salesmen, bottled water, um, attendance, scones, lounges, uh, and future repairs, you're paying for all that when you buy this car from them. You're not with us because we don't have any of that stuff and we don't charge you for any of that stuff. So you're gonna save a couple thousand dollars buying this car from us. Um, I am positive if I went over here to Watson Chevrolet with this car, I could make money, all right? But I'd rather see this thing go to somebody who really knows this car inside now, which I don't. I just know nice cars when I'm driving it, and this is one of them, um, you know, and uh, own it, you know, somewhere else. Instead of them getting their hands on it, and, you know, selling it for like 29000 or some stupid number, you know, and they'll get it. Um, but I'd rather have you have it, somebody else have it. Um, you know, if it doesn't sell in a month or so, then that's what I'll do. But this is a cool car, and I'm really glad I bought it, regardless of what happens. If I lose money, I do. If I win money, I do. Whatever, I don't care. Um, let's see. Anyway, I'm going to turn left here. Keep driving this bad boy. I can go to 17 minutes and 38 seconds. That's how much we can load onto the internet, so I might as well use it all. I'm at 1351 now. Um, air's blowing ice cold. Um, got mirrors, huh? Out, in, up down right let's go to the other side now oh, i gotta turn here so now we're at the auto mall cops like to hang out here so i gotta be careful even though i really want to see something just get a little bit of gas and see it i know these things are rocket ships it's a 5.7 liter but it runs great i mean really great really tight steering so there's Watson Chevrolet right there. Right there. So we might end up there at some point, but uh, I'd rather not. I don't want Carl Watson to have my car. It's too cool to end up sitting there on their third row, whatever. It's a cool car. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Turn right. 
would be Tucson Mall right there. So we'll go on a little tour here with this car. And then look at our, this is the main road. Look at this road. This is why you don't let a certain party run your city. This doesn't look like Scottsdale, does it? This road is horrible. This is Oracle. Uh, it turns into an actual interstate about four miles north of here. Jesus Christ. It's embarrassing. That's why this car is going to my neighborhood, which is on the far east side, and very well paved, and inside, gated, security. Basically, I'm already getting very paternal with this car. <laughs> I like it. See, now, right after we get off this crappy road, we get some good road. I'm going to give it some gas here for a second. Hell yeah. Hell yes. <laughs> yes, it runs good. It runs really good. If you buy out of state and ship it, then you don't pay taxes here. You have to pay taxes in your motor vehicles, probably, but that's what'll happen. Anyway, all right, we're just about out of out of space. We're at the Chevy dealer, and this there's a the salesman right there staring at it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for your time.